All right, so this is what I got. This is the deck as it is now. They want to extend the deck this way and run over to these stairs. And I'm gonna extend out this side too. Uh, let's see, a couple stakes in the ground now. They just want to be able to get a grill over here. The stairs are gonna stay the same, but I'm gonna bring the deck out here a little bit, tie back in and over. So that's what I got. I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, so here's where I'm at. Got a couple four by fours in the ground. My plan is to have these two four by fours here, obviously. I'm gonna have a two by 10 beam running across. This is about seven and a half feet. So I'm gonna have a double two by 10 setting up on top of it. And then I'm gonna have my two by six joist running this way and then the deck board's coming back across. So what I need to do is I need to find out where this has to be cut off at so that a two by 10, I said two by 10, and a two by six will line up just right and level so that when I start putting my deck boards, they'll they'll line up with those deck boards or they'll, they'll all line up. Those deck boards are gonna be replaced. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a string and get it screw, a screw put in there and pull a string out here with line level. And first of all, make sure this isn't too low, which I'm 99% sure it isn't, but I'm just gonna make sure of that. And then I'll go ahead and set these posts and um, I'll brace them and all that good stuff. And then I can cut them off and I can go ahead and put that cap that receives that two by 10 beam. So I'm gonna set this up. I'm ready to go now. I can get a screw straight down in the top. All right, so what I'm gonna do is check this line level. Get it close. And I know that a two by 10 is nine and a half inches wide and a two by six is five and a half. So nine and a half, nine and five is 14 plus the two halves makes 15 inches. So I need to come down for my mark. 15. I can really use another hand on this. But I think I can have it. So right now, the string down is 12 inches. So actually the post is three inches too high, which is good. I'll go ahead, I guess you can see this. Got the string right there because that's where the deck board's gonna land. Checking my line level to get it right. And from there down, it's 12 inches. And I needed no more than 15 inches. So that's good. I wanted it, I wanted it less than what I needed so that I got some to cut off. So I'm gonna do that. I can, this post can be set and braced and then I can cut it off where I need it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over there. That one's obviously high enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it. Now these posts are set in one foot from each side. I know that's not level. They're both set in one foot from each side and they're set in one foot. I just don't like post and the beam being right out here. I like the deck to overhang. So all I'm gonna do now is set those posts up and and find out where I need to cut them. Then I'll put my cap on on there that receives the beam and then I'll start doing that. Alright so I got my four by fours a little concrete on them no no water on the mix yet just concrete and I got them braced i'll show you that in a second what i'm gonna do now pull this level get it get it um get the string level and i'm gonna make a mark all right so it's level right there marking the string. 
So that right there is level with the deck. That was the first choice, not the deck board, but the deck. Show you that. See where I got the string? I've got it pushed all the way down to that joist. String is level, and I made a pencil mark right there. And my post was too low, so I screwed this little piece of scrap on there. You can see I'm all braced up. But anyway, now that I've got that mark, I can drop down 15 inches, and that'll end up on that 4x4, make a mark, cut the top off the 4x4. I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. All right, I got my marks. Um, and again, I'm gonna come down 15 inches because it's a two by 10 beam and the two by six joist. I'm gonna come down from those two marks I made, mark all the way around that post and um, cut them off. Trip the breaker.
these are four inches no I'm sorry three and a half on one end and three inches on the other so the four post goes in one end and in the other a double something a double two by will fit right in there So, let me see what I got. Um, something I forgot to mention. I didn't worry too much about these being perfectly square with the deck. I've done that before, pulled strings and, and worried about all that. What, I, what I'm what i gonna do now is I'm gonna make that two by 10 and I'm gonna make it just run long. It's gonna stop over here somewhere, but I'm just gonna let it run long on both ends. And then when I put my first two by six on, I'll make sure that two by six is square, mark my beam and then cut it off. So all I'm going to do now is get my beam put together and set up there. So the beam's in, I, like I said, I left it running long on the left and right side. I'll cut that off later. Um, but now I ought to be able to take a two by six and lay right on top, run it into the house and see if, and see if it um, lines up. I'm gonna get a two by six and come back. See what I got where I'm lining it up. And sitting, oh man, it moved. Oh, four, six, five foot overhang. Right, again, I'm there. I'm sitting on the horse. Now you can see this end is sitting a little high, which is fine because this beam isn't sitting all the way down in those braces. It's got a, 
I didn't get the beam pulled together really, really good so it won't fit down in there. But what I what I see so far is good. I can do that. I can knock it. Shoot, I can knock him four by four straight down the ground that little bit. So that's good. Alright now, all I'm gonna do now is secure that. Uh, secure the beam. Get it plumb and secure it to those. And then come around to the other side and put those four in and do the same thing over there. All right, so here's where I'm at. Well, we've already seen this beam or girder running across there. You can see I've got them. I already braced all those up, like I said, so the, the uh, post wouldn't move around a whole lot as I put the beams in. Now, they did move some, so that is something you need to go back and check. Put the level on there, make sure they're plumb. Um, this is the other two beams I set. I just did the exact same thing. Um, got my four post. Now, you will notice this post is not lined up with that back post. There's a water line down there, so I had to bring this one over, which ain't a big deal because the deck's gonna come on out. That's that's not a big deal. Anyway, uh, the other difference, this is a two by eight as compared to the two by 10 over there, because this span, you see, really isn't anything. Um, it's five foot from one end to the other. So right around three foot, I probably could have used a two by six. Um, but anyway, Got those two in, again, braced it all up. Um, I measured down 13 inches because I got a seven and a half inch piece of wood and a five and a half inch joist um, to line it all up with. So anyway, I did the same thing. Got it all marked up with uh, line leveling the string, cut the tops out, got them on. Um, you can see the level looks good. I was just running from these two. And I've got a deck board, not a deck board, a two by six up here. You can see all of that looks good. And I did notice this dropped. My board is dropping compared to that, but my board's level. You know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chase something that's unlevel over the span of these deck boards. That won't be noticed. But anyway, I'm not trying to hide anything from you. Um, but so far, so good. It's about two o'clock. I've been working since about nine, so I think that's good progress. Um, I don't put I don't put water in the hole just yet. I just wait. As wet as it's been, I, I usually sometimes don't even put water in there at all. It just naturally suck water, and that gives me some time to play. And another thing, um, you know, I'm in the south. We don't we don't get any deep freezes really around here. Um, I, you know, I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. I guess from here on out, I might would put the concrete in the hole and put those caps where you kind of get that four by four up out of the ground. Um, but again, we're not going to get we're not going to get rain and it freezing and, and mess, messing with that wood and then falling out and freezing. But I guess still, it's sitting in water over time. These are pressure treated ground contact boards. Um, maybe from now on, I'll I'll do that. But you just don't see that around here. A whole lot i don't know if it's not necessary just everybody around here is lazy but anyway back over here that two by ten i use that two by ten because in between post is about i think about eight feet something like that so a two by ten you couldn't i mean you can use a two by eight but according to the engineering specifics you're really supposed to use a two by ten or put another post in there and i just didn't want that other post so I'm gonna get geared up and start putting some two by sixes all the way on, on both sides. And um, I don't know what else I can get done today. I don't have any deck boards. I can, I gotta remove all those old deck boards. I can get those up, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's what I got done. Got my two by sixes on all the way down which really isn't much more from when my last little clip let's see i got one two three four five right there they're sitting on um hurricane straps so anyway tomorrow i'm gonna come back take all these deck boards down cut these posts down 
these posts aren't high enough they don't meet code so we're gonna cut those down and put some new ones in um, I don't think we had agreed that I was I think we just said I wasn't gonna mess with these steps at all but I am gonna go ahead and pull these treads off put new deck boards down unless they just really look yeah I think I'll just put new deck boards down there but that's all it it's like 430 I'm really not ready to go but I've got a customer that's got a water leak not even active but they just they, they want me to go ahead and come check it out real quick so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go check it out see you tomorrow all right so that's the end of um that was day one part one that video kind of got a little long so i cut it off i am complete um on that deck finished it up already finished it up yesterday actually turned out real nice um but i'll i'm gonna i'm gonna have the other i think it's two more parts coming out just as quick as i can get them editing edited I'm working on getting things edited a little better, cutting out all those dead spots and things, but it's a work in progress. But um, please share this video, like the video, uh, give me a comment, ask me questions. I'll be happy to talk about it or listen to criticism. And um, if you ring that little bell in the bottom right corner, you'll know when I post another video. Um, but until then, I'll, I'll be around.